welcome to my youtube channel t nuts physics class today i'll discuss another five more question from nerist and w w2 physics paper 2019 in my last class i discussed five question today i'll discuss another five question okay let's proceed first question if normal force is double then the coefficient of friction will be option a unchanged option b half option c two times option d four times it is a knowledge based question the the answer is so let's first explain the coefficient of friction is constant okay and it is always constant for two given surface in contact and it does not depend upon the normal direction so the coefficient of friction remain unchanged the right option is a that is unchanged okay let's proceed the second question another question when a body rolls down an inclined plane its potential energy is converted into option a translational kinetic energy only b rotational kinetic energy only c translational and rotational kinetic energy d none of the above so whenever a body rolls here two motion will be there one is translational for which it is moving forward direction and another motion is rotational so for this two motion we have two kinds of kinetic energy one is translational kinetic energy and other is rotational kinetic energy so right option is c that is translational and rotational kinetic energy okay third question a solid cylinder of radius 0.25 meter and mass 20 kg rotates about its axis with angular speed of 100 per second the kinetic energy associated with the rotation of the cylinder is option a 3125 joule 6250 joule 1562.5 joule option d zero so how can you solve this one first of all we know moment of a moment of inertia of solid cylinder is half m r square where m is the mass of the cylinder and r is the radius we insert the values of mass and radius of cylinder and after calculation we found out as i equal to 0 0.625 kg meter square now we have to find out the rotational kinetic energy now what is the formula of rotational kinetic energy that is half i omega square insert the value of i and in question the value of omega is also given so insert that value and after calculation we find out 3125 joule so right option is a that is 3125 joule okay third fourth question the radii of the radii of circular orbits of two satellites around the earth r in the ratio 1 is to 4 then the ratio of their periods of revolution is option a 1 is to 4 option b 4 is to 1 option c 1 is to 8 option d 8 is to 1 so how can you solve this one so here we have to use the formula of kepler's law t square optional to r cube therefore here solution is there t1 square by t2 square equal to r1 cube r2 cube 
therefore t1 by t2 r1 by r2 whole to the power 3 by 2 insert the value of r1 and r2 after calculation we find out t1 by t2 as 1 by 8 so our correct answer is c that is 1 is to 8 okay so last question fifth question The terminal velocity of a spherical ball of radius a falling through a viscous liquid is proportional to here options are as option a a option b a square option c a cube option d a to the power minus one so how can we solve this one for this one we have to know the formula of terminal velocity what is the expression of terminal velocity v equal to 2 by 9 a square rho minus sigma into g divided by eta here rho is the density of material of the body the body which is moving in the fluid that body's density is rho and sigma is the density of the fluid and small a is the radius of the spherical ball and eta is the coefficient of viscosity of the fluid so from this expression it is very much clear to us that terminal velocity directly proportional to a square that is square of the radius the right option is b that is a square okay thank you if you like my video please subscribe my channel just press the red mark subscriber okay thank you i'll discuss some more question in my next class